Hello everyone, this is Earth Archives. Speaking of the ace tank of Nazi Germany, it is probably the Tiger tank. Today, let's understand the development background and combat history. Before the show starts, please subscribe, share, and turn on the little bell. This will help us grow faster. Without further ado, the show begins. The Tiger tank, just the name sends a chill down the spine of anyone familiar with World War II's armored warfare. Officially designated as the Panzerkampfwagen vi Tiger, this beast of a machine became one of the most feared and respected tanks of the war. But behind its fearsome reputation lies a tale of engineering brilliance, logistical nightmares, and battlefield legend. Buckle up as we dive into the fascinating story of the Tiger tank. The genesis of the Tiger, development and design. A response to Soviet might. The year was 1941, and the German Wehrmacht had just launched Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. Early successes gave way to brutal realities as German forces encountered the formidable Soviet T-34 and KV-1 tanks. These heavily armoured adversaries could shrug off hits from German Panzer III and IV tanks with alarming ease. The Wehrmacht needed a new tank, and fast. The birth of a giant. In response, Hitler ordered the development of a new heavy tank that could outgun and outlast anything the Allies could throw at it. The task fell to the engineering firms of Henschel and Porsche. Both companies submitted prototypes, but after rigorous testing, Henschel's design was selected. Thus, the Tiger I was born. Design features. The Tiger tank was a marvel of engineering for its time. It featured thick armor, up to 100 mm on the front, that could withstand most anti-tank weapons of the era. Its main gun, the 88mm KWK-36, was derived from the famed 88mm anti-aircraft gun and could destroy enemy tanks at distances where they couldn't even scratch its paint. The Tiger's suspension system was sophisticated, with interleaved road wheels that provided a smooth ride over rough terrain. This behemoth could reach speeds of up to 28 miles per hour, 45 kilometers per hour, on roads, which was impressive given its weight of nearly 57 tons. The Tiger wasn't just a tank, it was a fortress on tracks. From blueprints to battlefield, production and deployment. Early production challenges. The Tiger tank's advanced design came with its fair share of headaches. Manufacturing such a complex machine required precision engineering and high-quality materials, which were in short supply as the war dragged on. Early production models suffered from mechanical issues, particularly with the transmission and final drive. These problems were exacerbated by the Tiger's immense weight, which put additional strain on its components. Production numbers and factories. Despite these challenges, production began in earnest at Henschel's Castle plant in August 1942. By the end of the war, around 1,347 Tiger I tanks had been produced. While this number pales in comparison to the thousands of T-34s and Shermans churned out by the Soviets and Americans, the Tiger's impact on the battlefield was disproportionate to its numbers. Deployment and initial impressions. The Tiger I first saw combat in September 1942 near Leningrad. The initial deployments were cautious, and the tank's combat debut was met with mixed results. Mechanical failures were common, but when the Tigers were operational, they proved devastatingly effective. Reports of Tiger tanks knocking out multiple enemy vehicles in single engagements began to filter back to German high command, and the Tiger's fearsome reputation began to grow. The Tiger in action, battlefield performance, strengths and weaknesses. The Tiger tank's strengths were its powerful 88mm gun and thick armor. On the battlefield, these attributes made it a formidable adversary. The 88mm gun could destroy enemy tanks at ranges where they couldn't effectively return fire giving the Tiger a significant advantage in open engagements. However, the Tiger was not without its weaknesses. Its heavy weight made it prone to getting stuck in mud or breaking through bridges that couldn't support its mass. The complex suspension system, while providing a smooth ride, was difficult to maintain and repair in the field. Fuel consumption was another major issue. The Tiger guzzled fuel at an alarming rate, which was a logistical nightmare for the already strained German supply lines. Notable engagements. Battle of Kursk. The Battle of Kursk in July 1943 was one of the largest tank battles in history, and the Tiger played a significant role. Facing off against a massive Soviet armored force, the Tigers were able to inflict heavy losses on the enemy. However, the battle also highlighted the Tiger's vulnerabilities, as mechanical failures and the sheer weight of numbers began to take their toll. North Africa. The Tiger also saw action in North Africa, 
where it quickly gained a fearsome reputation among Allied tank crews. In the hands of skilled commanders like Michael Whitman, the Tiger became a near-unstoppable force, ambushing and destroying entire columns of enemy tanks with ease. Normandy and the Western Front In the hedgerows of Normandy, the Tiger proved its worth once again. Its thick armor allowed it to shrug off hits from Allied anti-tank weapons, while its powerful gun could punch through the armor of even the heaviest Allied tanks. The Tiger's performance during the Battle of Normandy cemented its status as one of the most feared weapons of the war. Legacy of the Tiger Influence on post-war tank design The Tiger's impact didn't end with the war. Its design principles, thick armor, powerful main gun, and heavyweight, influenced post-war tank development across the world. The Soviet IS series, the American M103, and even the British Centurion all borrowed elements from the Tiger's design. The concept of a heavily armored, heavily armed main battle tank can trace its lineage back to the Tiger. A symbol of Nazi engineering. The Tiger remains a symbol of Nazi Germany's engineering prowess. It's often romanticized in popular culture and studied by military historians. While it was not without its flaws, the Tiger represented a significant leap in tank design and battlefield strategy. Films, books, and documentaries frequently feature the Tiger, sometimes highlighting its fearsome reputation, other times lamenting its mechanical shortcomings. Collectors and Restorations Today, surviving tigers are rare and highly prized by collectors and museums. Restoration projects are ongoing, with enthusiasts dedicating countless hours to bringing these iron beasts back to life. The allure of the tiger continues to captivate those interested in the technological and historical aspects of World War II. Events like Tankfest in the UK often feature restored tigers, drawing crowds eager to see these legendary machines in action. Personal stories and anecdotes. Tank commanders' tales. Hearing about the Tiger from the engineers who built it is one thing, but hearing it from the men who fought in it brings the story to life. Tank commanders and crews have shared harrowing tales of battlefield bravery, mechanical frustrations, and the camaraderie that developed in the cramped confines of a Tiger. One famous account comes from Michael Whitman, one of Germany's most successful tank aces, who described the Tiger as a perfect predator when it worked but a mechanical beast that required constant care. Maintenance woes. Mechanics who worked on Tigers often had their own stories. They were the unsung heroes, toiling away to keep these temperamental machines running. Their stories of improvisation, innovation, and sheer determination provide a fascinating look at the human side of the Tiger's history. Tales of field repairs using whatever was at hand, wooden logs, salvaged parts from other tanks, even pieces of destroyed enemy vehicles, illustrate the ingenuity required to keep the Tiger operational. Conclusion the Tiger Tank is a story of ambition, innovation, and the brutal realities of war. It was born out of necessity, refined through adversity, and proved itself on the battlefield. While it didn't turn the tide of the war for Germany, its legacy endures as one of the most iconic and advanced tanks of its time. So, the next time you hear the rumble of a tank in a documentary or see one on display, take a moment to appreciate the engineering marvel that was the Tiger, a true predator of the battlefield.